They're being made. There was nothing we could do to stop them. Before we realised what was happening, it was too late. Welcome to episode 7 of Timberborn, Rise of the Machines. So, yes, the little Timberbots are taking over. They are self-replicating. We have Timberbots manning almost every building, or we will do when we get 38 more. Uh, so, yeah, this is happening. Since I last played, I think I needed to update or build more fuel because Timberbots here, they have a little bar and they need biofuel, uh, which they get from the biofuel factories that we are making or we've made. Um, biofuel is made from food. And one thing I've noticed, if you go to the biofuel machines, which are here at the refinery, uh, at the top you have carrots, they give you five biofuel uh, for two carrots, whereas potatoes, seems like they're the way forward, uh, you get 30 from two potatoes, and spadadoc, you get 25 from two of those, so yeah, potatoes are the biofuel way of the future. We also have a booster fluid, which is at the bottom, yeah, it's a uh, it's not a big thing to do. It's a long thing to do. I need to get maple syrup and I think the other thing is sunflower seeds. Could be wrong there though. Um, but yeah, booster fluid makes them work quicker. So you can do that. You just need to grow maple trees for like 30 days and then wait another 12 days uh, for, the, for the sap to form for you to harvest. Um, but yeah, it's a lot less is needed to fuel the timber bots than it is the organic beavers. To that effect, I have started reducing the population. So I click pause on these housing and then no new beavers can be made. We have 102 beavers or 105 beavers, some are poisoned, and we only have 51 beds. So that should halve the population when people die of old age. Um, what I have been doing is going around all the buildings, making sure they're run by timber bots. So we currently have 79 unemployed beavers that are beavers working somewhere. The reason some of my beavers are radiated or contaminated, um, this wasn't letting out enough fluid. So it started to back up and then started going over here and flooded my mine, unfortunately. Well, not the end of the world, we have loads of metal. Um, and then flooding back this way too. So I had to send some people into the contaminated bad water to uh, to place the explosives and widen that gap. It's okay though, because the contaminated beavers, if we can find them easily enough, we probably can. It should be a, yeah, contaminated. Oh, no, we're not renaming you. Okay, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. Ah, there you go. They're doing it. They're in the decontamination pods. I think, though, it takes like two to three weeks for them to actually be decontaminated. So it's quite a long process. There you go. There's one next to him now. Um, we are in the middle of a drought, but we have plenty of water. We have all these barrels, all these pumps. And then we have another row of pumps we can open up to to get water pumping when we run out. Yeah, as I said, everything is now or should now be timber botted. So all buildings are 24 hours a day, which is good. More production, double production almost. They don't have to stop for food or breaks or water or anything like that. Um, our power's about holding on. We did build another line of windmills though, because they were going to the bottom quite regularly. But yeah, that should be good. One thing we can't automate is research, but yeah, fuck, we've got 32,000 research. I mean, what the most expensive things? Uh, monuments, 12,000, easy, 3,000. It's pretty much everything unlocked that we need to unlock. Um, so yeah, we're doing okay. It is the case though, 
that these these mechanical beavers that infinitely superior to the biological ones they need less resources they work for longer and um, they do have a limited lifespan uh, let's go to timberbot one yeah it probably last about two to four months um, <coughs> I haven't uh, timed it exactly but yeah they last quite a while and then they will be replaced and yeah, they just work non-stop, need a bit of biofuel, which probably costs less food to fuel them than it costs to uh, feed a beaver. Plus, they don't get sick as well. They run out of biofuel, they do start walking slowly, but they still move, and then they go and fill up. So yeah, they're good. Um, we are going to hit a limit, though, because when we start having to replace timber bots, that's the point when we can't expand, well we can if we build more timber bot buildings but we can't expand our workforce anymore um, because the new ones will be replacing the ones that are dying so we are hit a stable population at some time I mean if we make one every 36 hours just over a day basically to make a timber bot if we have the resources coming that is um, what are you missing there, bot limbs? We do have bot limbs. There you go, get working. Uh, so yeah, a day and a half roughly to make a new timber bot, which is not too bad. But yeah, infinitely superior. They don't have a childhood phase, so you don't need to feed and water them during that at all. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat them. I hate to use it as an analogy for humans and AI, but... Fuck, if AI can actually do this, stop producing themselves and they realise that humans are a bigger drain than they are, what's the point in having humans around? Well, I suppose if we look at the beavers themselves, I actually noticed this. Uh, let's find one that's outside. They're actually quite sweet. Um, I do like their animations or their images. There you go, there's loads of beavers around here. I actually put a bit of effort in them. Look at them. Sweet little things. Hello. Hello, Ankle Gad. What are you? Hello, Vusashi. Hello, Malila. Compared to the AI bots, which are a bit ugly and not doing very much work. Okay, we have no buildings. Anyway, yeah, so enough of the sweet beavers. Let's kill them all. So we're going to do this by migrating them to another district I've set up. It's the uh, Beaverton Abbey Ghetto. They should all be moving over here now. There you go. Run along, little beavers. There's plenty of food for you where we... Oh, that one's got a little backpack on. There's plenty of food and water where we're going. You'll be happy there. It'll be nice and you'll die quick. I mean, you'll have lots of fun. So off they trot over here. Let's speed it up again. And there you go. They should all be there now. Right. Oh, one more. Anyone else? Another one. No, they're still dicking around. Come on, go join your friends. It's nice over there, they'll tell you. There's contaminated water, dead trees and scrap metal. What more could you want in a place to live? Right, is that all beavers over there? No. Yes, it is. What are you? Are you a timber bot? Right, hold on. Okay, I know what I did wrong. We need to put, there's another couple that are injured, so let's just do a hundred, or a thousand even. There you go, that's more than we have. So that will get the injured ones going over there, or should get the injured ones going over there. Or contaminated even. We do have a bit of a shortage of bots, but we've put our haulers to lowest priority, so we probably have a contingency of about... 
30 and then with the mine it goes to about 40. Um, we don't actually need to be pumping as much water because there's no organics taking the water. All oh, right, okay, these aren't switched over to timber bots. Let's do that now in case we need a rush of water, which I doubt we will. We only need uh, timber bots for farming. So we can produce a biofuel. We certainly don't need these anymore. We're not going to be using grilled potatoes. How are we doing? We're still 38 down. Okay, all these can be paused. Probably still going to be 38 anyway, it is, isn't it? Again, let's switch over to timber bots in case we need them. Alright, I wonder how our organic beavers are doing. Let's go and have a look. Um, what we should also do, just so they don't get any ideas, let's build a wall. There you go. Sorry beavers, there's no way back. You're stuck here now. In fact, let's remove all hope and remove the road too. Sorry beavers. Right, come on timber bots. Let's build this wall. We don't want any coming back. They're hungry and thirsty and mildly unhappy. See, the thing is, well-being as well, it's not needed for timber bots. They don't get happy or sad, they just are. So with timber bots, you don't need to waste resources on building, like, happiness buildings or anything like that. You don't have to have a variety of food. Yeah, it's all good. And the wall's getting built. Let's just check. So we have... Still have two fucking radiated ones here. <coughs> two have escaped our purge. Bastards. Um. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, you're not getting decontaminated. Timber bots don't need decontamination. What was I deleting? Yep, let's delete that. I built my wall too soon. It's easiest just to delete this, isn't it, rather than fucking around with stairs. Right. Come on, you bastards. Go and join your friends. The machines rule now. Let's just check. We have a thousand. Yep. Ah, right. There's white. Go. What are you doing? You're moving very slowly. Ah, oh, sweet little things. Yeah, shame, th shame about Timberborn, you can't kill them in some... Uh, cruel fashion. Not that I'd want to, but... What's nicer, a bullet to the head or starvation? Slow starvation. And uh, dehydration. All right, come on. There's a wall that needs building, and you need to be the other side of it. Let's just let them hit there before we delete this in case it causes some oddity where they come back to the other colony. All right, there you go. Let's get this wall built again. And let's remove the road. 
Escapees are not allowed. There we go, they're all there together. 97 and 2 injured. Brilliant. And this is what's going to happen to humanity in about 100 years or so. AI will suddenly realise that uh, humans are unproductive, wasteful, a drain on resources, and then we'll just be uh, either herded into ghettos, or they create some virus to wipe us all out at the same time, which won't affect machines. Or they'll just start shooting us or using our nukes against us. Who knows? I think the quick option is best, rather than letting people slowly starve and uh, dehydrate to death. They should start dying any minute now, or any day now. I think one of the radiated ones has died, or one of the contaminated ones. What happens when you swim in bad water? Look at our water there in the top, that's not going down anymore. There's no two water a day per beaver, it's just a bit for farming and uh, lumberjacking. Ooh, shit. I think our timber bots, no, they haven't died off. Still 22% Timberbot 1, so we've got a while till they started dying off, or start dying off. We do appear to have 35, that went up one in the corner of my eye. I could be wrong though. So yeah, this is it, a colony completely run by Timberbots. No organics needed. We can actually pause these. We don't need clean water so much anymore. Come on. The quicker you die, the quicker I can hide the evidence. Yeah, it doesn't really give you a clear indication of when they die. Oh, maybe it's when these bars start hitting uh, the other end of hunger or thirst. Maybe that's when they start popping their clogs. Oh, look at them sleeping. Aren't they cute? Their little teeth poking and their little bellies moving in and out and their tails waggling. Oh, sweet little things. But they're not machines. So they must die. Oh, I think one just... No, it hasn't. It was still on 81. The number of workers we need is going down with the timber bots. I think what probably happened was that, yeah, the mine cleared out, so the mine came online. Right, so we don't need water in these barrels anymore, so for the timber bots, we can set it to... We can sell it to biofuel, so if the timber bots are too far away from home, they can just go and fill up at one of these convenient barrels. I suppose in a way it's a similar mechanic to the beavers needing water. The timber bots just need biofuel. Right, where else is that? Here. And I think that was probably it. We have a hundred timber bots. Right, the death's going to start soon. Don't know if I want to watch. The wall is built though. There's no way back from them. I suppose this is what the USA wants with Mexico. Build a wall. Ah, there you go. They're dying. Off they go, slowly but surely. And so, the genocide's almost complete. Right, let's remove the road. There's no reason for our little timber bots to come this way anymore. Maybe in a hundred years, a conscious timber bot will go this way and discover the scene of the massacre. Who knows? Yep, 
But the colony is running. The colony still goes and the colony can still grow. There's energy being made. There's timber bots being made. There's industry being done. Explosives. We could really expand. But I think we've done it for now. The machines have taken over. The machines have risen. There you go. We've got our biofuel at easy access points. Um, one thing I didn't understand or work out from this playthrough so these bad water pumps do they actually clean the water do they clean the bad water from from a polluted lake river stream uh, pond pool whatever do they actually do it because what I did set up was these uh, these fluid dumps so where I had so much bad water stored you only need it for explosives and I've got maximum amount of explosives I think now so the idea was pump it from here and then have it kind of dumped out here there you go and would that actually clean the water I don't know um, I've not seen on the developer's site or I've not read the developer's site properly to see if that's there we have one beaver left you're the last of beave manatee, I suppose. All your friends are dead. That's it. You sleep. Go to the eternal sleep in the sky, little beaver. Ooh, he doesn't look well. Where well, he's contaminated as well. He's got all red things over him. And there you go. The last beaver is finally gone. Let's get rid of any evidence. Nothing to see here. It's just an empty patch of green with lots of beaver skeletons. And I think that's the end of the series. Um, first the humans, and now the beavers. Organic life as we know it has all but perished. Long live the machines. Thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. I'll be back again soon with some more content. Bye-bye.